Alright. Well, that was definitely an experience fighting Gira and Zeta at the same time. Twice. Let's see what's up out here for... Oh, I guess I just gotta go straight to Amber's place. But, why would I do that when... Oh, Talon. Oh, and I didn't even notice that was... <laughs> I'm glad to be going home. The weather here sucks ass. Oh, do you have to be so negative all of the time? Why, yes, it was in my con contract I signed once leaving the womb. Fair enough. No one asks to leave. <laughs> you know, you can get really gross sometimes for it. <laughs> yeah, no, that was also in my contract. <laughs> Gosh, I never expected to get caught up in all of this. Yeah, well, that's... Them's the breaks for Team Zen. They attacked anyone and everyone who gets in their way. That's why they should be eradicated. Every single one of them. My deep apologies for those who have lost Toby. Hope there is peace in knowing their sacrifices won't be forgotten. That signs it seems we'll be leaving soon. Already? <laughs> it is unfortunate, but nothing lasts forever, as they say. Our expedition was a success, and we must return home to Grand Dream City. If you're ever in the area, do stop by and say hello. Uh, will do. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna see if there's anything important. Seems the Tapu Pokemon have disappeared now that things have settled down. That shiny Tapu Koko, I have to wonder where it came from. I don't know, it probably came out of someone's ass. Perhaps it sensed that its friend was in trouble and came to its rescue? I hope I get to see it again so that I can thank it properly. I don't. Alright, please tell me your shit's uh -oh. ready now. Oh, okay, so you just tell me... Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go see what's up then. I'm assuming this is the lighthouse stuff. Oh, Toby, just a soldier wanted to see. I have a little job for you if you're interested. What's it? So, oh, there are four lighthouses strewn about Terrajuma. Just before your group arrived, they went out of service. With all the stuff happening on Route 6, well, we've been low on rangers. We have a team ready to check out two of the sites, but we need one more. Would you be willing to join the squad? Let's go! Great, then I'll set you up with the lighthouse at Jinobi. There's one last lighthouse, but that one has been shut down for a while. We have no reason to check that place, but if that changes, I'll let you know. Oh, and you'll be needing this. Okay, thank you. Lastly, we're going to need you to bring an electric-type Pokémon, just in case we need you to restart things. Well, good thing I got a right through. Alright, Jinobi Pass Lighthouse, here I go! It's about damn time the music here changed. It was always so damn ominous and negative with all the shit going on earlier. But now it's all nice and peaceful and shit. I like it better that way. Well, most of the time. Because I don't hate the- what the fuck? Is that a virus threat? Fucking Java updates. Alright. Check out the lighthouse. Probably save just in case anything crazy goes on. I've kept the hidden stash just for me, but I keep forgetting the number or passcode, so I'm writing it down. Passcode to my secret stash is 9867. 9867, okay. Oh, hell. Toby, can you hear me? How are things on your end? Uh, icy cold. I see. Well, we have bad news for you as well. Oh, shit. Same for us here. In fact, every location has been met with the same fate, but I don't understand. And she's been out of commission for quite a while now. There's no way she was capable of this. I mean, she could have before, you know, we were able to start searching them and this, everything. But unless... Is it possible... Is it possible that this was an attack Angie staged before she even took Dominion over Crystalline? I mean, it's possible. I mean, they were knocked down before she was even introduced. That would mean that she didn't just show up randomly like we thought. Her attack... Her attack on Terrajuma was planned and calculated. She wiped out the lighthouses so that no more ships could come in and out. Her plan failed though, partially. Ships were let out with the help of our Pokemon. Hey Toby, do you happen to see a yellow Pokemon anywhere in there? Ampharos, to be, to be specific, they power the lighthouse. No Ampharos here either? And if they were Ampharos present in Angie's domain, we would have known. Okay, there's nothing we can do for these guys right now, so let's meet back up at HQ. Okay then. Okay, I made the report to Crawley. Because the Earth Heart you retrieved from Keratos, we can melt the rest of the leftover ice. But I'm more concerned about the missing Ampharos. If Angie doesn't have them, then where... where are they? Oh, Sam, what's up? We just got reports of the strange electrical activity at the Southbound Lighthouse. Southbound Lighthouse? But isn't that one not in use? That's correct, that's why it's unusual. Electrical activity, huh? Joe, do you mind checking out the Southbound Lighthouse with me? I have a feeling this unusual activity and our missing Ampharos are directly related. In that case, I'll go make a report with Crawley. Okay. 
Southbound lighthouse is on the little on that little island your crew appeared on. You just need to surf from the shipyard. It's pretty easy to find. Yeah, that's the one I've been checking out the most. Right, let's see what's going on in here. Whoa, Toby, are you seeing this? No, I'm. Um, oh, okay. This could seriously hurt someone if they fall. Th oh, you mean the elevator's not even there? Hmm, something weird is going on. Oh, Crawley's here. Crawley, sir, I didn't expect to see you here. Sam sent me the report and I decided this probably need my involvement. Well, it's nice to have help. Well, someone could really get hurt if they happen to walk into that elevator shaft. That's exactly what, what I said. It's true. <laughs> okay, okay. Great minds think alike. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do about this. This lighthouse is a lot larger than the other ones. That's several management floors because it was powered by machines instead of Pokemon. We should check the first basement level and then make our way down. Yes, sir. Okay, I didn't know we were... This had a down. The lighthouses usually have a down. Oh, fuck me! It's these guys again. What are you guys doing here? Leave us alone. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I see what's happening here. Things are making sense. Please excuse my skepticism, sir, but are they... Angie froze our workers in their designated lighthouses. Then later on, Team Anti-Assist broke in and stole our Ampharos. In that case, why didn't Angie freeze the Ampharos? Oh, true. I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, I don't have time for this. On guard. Okay, how How? Why is it that out of the three, you attack me? Okay, here. Eat magma. Eat air. Eat more air. That actually went better than I thought it would. This is Anne's fault. What's your problem? You're out of line. We're out of line. You kidnap HQ personnel. The Ampharos and the lighthouses were trained by Crawley himself. Damn. Yeah, but then we caught them and now they're ours. We wanted to work this lighthouse so that we could control what comes into the shipyard. The moment we set things up, things went haywire. Well, no kidding. This place was shut down because it was obsolete and unstable. Uh, but don't worry. We'll clean up your mess. Guys, let's shut this place down. Yeah, can you arrest the fucker too? Or can I just, you know, punch his jaw clean off? I don't feel like talking to you. Leave me alone. Well, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, bitch. Talk. All right, fine. Fuck you. I haven't been to this place in so long. The light this lighthouse produced was so bright, it could be seen from other regions. Or so they say. Not confirmed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just an exaggeration, buddy. Oh, well, at least the Ampharos is still here. I want to touch these... <coughs> Electro balls. <laughs> I'm still looking for that sweet... <laughs> I just keep on thinking of masochism jokes. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got rid of that. Oh, okay, well, they're not there anymore. Got a data drive, and it's another assist member. No, I won't let you take her. Oh, good fuck. Team Anti-Assist is going to control the lighthouse whether you like it or not. How? You're all done. I'm not sure I really understand why you even want to do that. To stop ships from... <sighs> yes, but why? Less ships mean less tourists, which means there won't be as many trainers to accept help requests. And that's a good thing because, yeah, I really don't know the point of, you know, stopping people from helping because this just seems extremely anti-productive. Because that's what the boss wants. Well, your boss sounds fucking retarded. And who is your boss? Like I tell you that. Right, I expected nothing less, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and book this one then, sir. Yeah, arrest her. Thank you. And then make sure this Ampharos makes it safely upstairs. Toby, let's make our way to the next and final floor. <sighs> Jesus Christ. These anti cis dudes are freaking stupid. On so many levels. Oh, it actually. Okay. I thought it actually turned it off or not. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, did I just. I feel like I just soft locked myself. Oh. Okay. Wait, did I? I don't think I did. Uh, good lord. Jesus, another one? There's always some obstacle. Obstacle- obstacles are meant to be overcome. You're no different. You are even less than an obstacle, my god. Good job, Toby. Uh, so Toby and Crawley both are showing their faces here? No wonder our operation is failing. Yep, and you're going to jail, sir. Make a prison. You're trespassing for one and two, you're kidnappers. I'll call Alex and tell her to come pick you up. As for us, Toby, I have a feeling we have one more crook that needs dealing with. Ugh. These guys are... Oh, of course we have one. These guys are way worth more trouble than any, anything they're worth. Knock, knock! Who's there? Justice! Oh, sorry for frightening you, but I just had to take the chance. You're cruel. I'm not cruel, I'm crawly. And we're here to take back what you took from us. Can this wait? I'm trying to figure something out here. What? Someone stole the panel we were using. See the conductors? 
The panel that we installed just disappeared out of thin air one day. Now this Amphros is out of a job. Doesn't that make you sick? I had a job before you kidnapped it. No more idle chit-chat. You're my next catch. You better assist me on this one. And of course you're not assisting me. Garn, why here? Sorry, but your plan kind of sucked from the game. Yeah, just like their whole team. A plan destined to fail is no plan at all. That's gonna work. Bullshit it was. Uh, no. See, we responded the moment something odd was going on. So with Terajuma's community existing, truthfully, you had no choice. Or no chance. But, and didn't you know that this place was no longer in use, friend? That means the ships from the shipyard don't even use this lighthouse for guidance. Man, they really are retarded. So even if you didn't have a missing panel, it was bound for failure. Yeah, jail time for you, friend. Jail <laughs> time. Give him some educational t educational shit, too, because goddamn do they need some. And that's the report, sir. All the Amphros have been returned to their lighthouse. Additionally, all those who were frozen have been freed. No word on the missing electrical panel, though. So that means all the lighthouses have finally been restored. Good, that's good. I bet that means certain Pokemon that were drawn to them will appear again. But that's not all, sir. This is weird to say, but Team Anti-Assist Interference has actually done some good. Their setup has completely refurbished the southbound lighthouse. <laughs> So the, their stupidity just made them do the opposite of what they're trying to do. Oh, they really are, they are a real special type of stupid. So now that one should also be functional as well. Neat. But no way, that's great news. Thanks for your report, everyone. No problem. Yeah, you were a great help, Toby. I'll have your reward for, forwarded to the help plaza. I have another duty I have to attend to, but if you ever need my help, just give me a shout. Okay, then. Oh, that is a quest well done. All right, now let me go see what this princess thing's about. Okay. Let's see if this is it. Nine, eight, six, seven. Okay. Uh, and then there's fossil rocks. Okay. So that. Steel wing. Anything else? Nope, just a bunch of rocks now. Which I'm... You motherfucker. What do you want? What? Don't just turn your back on me. You've done well, Toby. My Terajuma Island has fallen. What? But I have done everything I could to save this one. I hope that my sins have been forgiven. The rest is up to you, Toby. Perhaps we shall fight together once again. T so together? What do you mean together? Oh, of course it's an alternate version. So that was the reason. Yeah, and it also just wanted to spout actual bullshit to me, too. Tapu Koko lost its home. It probably saw our world in turmoil and decided that it was best to show its face here and help. It, it attacked me twice, too? Hmm? Seems pretty unethical to me. But now that Terajuma saved it, felt no reason to stick around. Or maybe it's going to try and help other worlds out there that need help. Well, you're welcome anytime, Tapu Koko. And I hope... He, no, he's not. No, he is not. And I hope wherever you are, thank you too. Find some peace. <clears throat> I'm gonna shoot that thing the next time I see it. I haven't talked to this guy in a while. I have a bunch of cells I've found. And another cell imprint, Soothe Bell. I found 50, cell imprint, Macho Brace. And yeah, that's it. Okay. I haven't been back here, but I'm pretty sure I have at least 11 Wisp and shit. Ten souls have escaped their confines. Bring ten souls here and Oh, it has to be at fucking night. Ugh, good guy. There, it's fucking night. Are you happy now? Or do I have to talk to this? I don't I have ten souls? Oh wait, I'm not- I'm not- I'm looking at something else entirely. I mean, it, did, good fucking lord, this is a waste of my damn time. Okay, wrong person. Who do you- was this dude? Yep, that was who it was. 
Yes, I would like you to create a sculpture for a new exhibit. The question is, what should it be of? I know you're not really involved in any of the, this art business, but do you have a suggestion? Uh, I, usually, I like these two the most. We'll put Kyogre for once. Give that um, <clears throat> some love, I guess. A statue of Kyogre, hmm? I believe that shall do. Okay, I'll let my sculptor get started. Let's see how this goes. Well, that was fast. Glorious, it's a wondrous statue. Thank you very much. Here's your payment for the wondrous sculpture. Yeah, yeah, yeah damn. As all from, well, of course, this magnificent piece shall be visited by many people once they learn it's here. Besides, an artist should always be paid for the work. That is true, no matter what it is. Thank you, I won't forgive this. As for you, I'd like you to have this. Then that's just, yeah. So, oh, okay. This is the place of the princess. Okay. What about you? Oh, I forgot this. There, I forgot to put the time back. You, you're the one who saved Crystalline from Angie. I've been looking up for someone to escort the princess out and about Crystalline. You do know about the princess, don't you? I think I do. Ah, oh, very good. You're well cultured for someone your age. I'm really not. My daughter's been locked in for so long after being taken prisoner by Angie. I need someone to watch her as she takes a walk around town. Show her around, talk to her, the whole works. What do you say? Alright, fine. Very well, then I shall introduce you to her. Okay. I present to you the Maiden of Crystalline Town, Princess Odessa. Father, you mustn't carry on like this. Our lineage, while royal, has faded into history just as we all do one day. Oh, so he's one of those guys. But nevertheless, welcome, famous Toby, the savior of Crystalline Town. Are you the one who will be escorting me around town today? But of course, there's no one else fit to do the job. Fair enough. I oh, hello. Um, yeah, I I'm, I'm here for the job. I see. I've been shut in for so long, Toby. Angie has caused us great stress and anxiety. But now she is gone, as you have thwarted her. If it is no issue, would you please protect me as I stroll on about Crystalline Town? Um, uh, will do, ma'am. They've already accepted my dear princess. The rest is up to you. Very well, then. Shall we depart at once? Sure. Where are we going? Hi, Toby. I'm so sorry for all of that formality stuff. It's such a drag. It's true that our blood holds royalty, but we hold about as much political power as a stray dynamo in Chargestone Cave. That is none. Yeah, I figured. Still, people of Crystalline behave as if we are of high-standing lineage. Okay, that's dumb. So please do well to keep me safe, and I will do the same for you. Okay, where do you want to go? Okay. I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to bring you, though. Oh, neat. sure this is where I'm supposed to be bringing her. Not entirely where in the place, but just around here. Wait one moment, Toby. Can we go to that bridge over there? Sure. This bridge it is my favorite spot in the entire world. Well, considering I've never left Crystalline. I suppose this is my entire world. I used to come here as a child with my entire family. My sister, my father, and my mother all together. One day my mother got up and said she needed to return to the temple beneath the sea. And with that she disappeared. I haven't seen her since. We never came here after that, and our family became unhappy. So unhappy that my sister, she's nothing but a traitor too, just like mother. Now it's just me and my father alone in Chris, Crystalline. Yeah, I feel like you need to get the hell out of here. Life has never been the same. Never, ever. So, should I smuggle you out of here? Because that's honestly seeming like what I have to do. Jesus. Okay. Sure. Well, now what do I do with you? Because you're still following me and I don't know what the hell to do with you. What happens if I show her a boat? Is that your ship, Doctor? I've never seen such an exquisite model before. How does it work? You don't have to pilot that thing? You just put in coordinates and it pilots itself? My goodness, I've never heard of such a contraption. I mean, how could I? I've never left the island before. I've always been tra trapped here. You want a ride? You want to get the hell out of here? You would do that for me? I'm flattered, Toby, but I couldn't possibly put you through the trouble. I've never left the island. Like I said, Father would never let me leave. Not after... Well, that's the past now. It's not important. You seem like you really need to get the hell out of here, woman. Because staying here don't seem healthy. Okay. 
You may bring me home now, Toby. Okay. Are you sure you want to actually want to go home? Because you really sound like you should, you know, like, move the hell out of this town. Because you seem miserable here. Okay. Here's your damn daughter. Ah, uh, you have returned. Yes, and it was a very relaxing and fulfilling time. Thank you, Father, for looking out for me. This is definitely what I needed after being cooped up inside for so long. I... Odessa? Princess Odessa, I just wish to give Toby a hug for what they have done for me, and perhaps even... What the fuck? Odessa, this is completely out of line. Have you be <laughs> I mean, I guess I have. <laughs> Wait, you got a problem? Jesus. Uh, well, um, yeah, okay, yeah, she needs to get the hell out. You always do this, Odessa. I always have to do something at the end that will piss me off. At this point, I think you're doing it just to get under my skin. And guess what? It's working! Why can't you just behave for once? Now suddenly you just have nothing to say? Well, very well then, Odessa. You can sit there and reflect on what you've done. I don't want you moving from that spot, hear me? Oh, she needs to get the hell out. You certainly do not act like- Maybe this will finally help you learn how to act pro Did he just beat her? And I said, this is for your own good. You may be upset with me, but this is the only way you learn. If only you were like your mother, it wouldn't have co- Holy shit, he's why she left. He's why the whole family left. And please, just try to stay here and reflect. Your punishment will be worse if you try and escape. You are the princess of crystalline. You will learn to act like it. Oh my god. Why am I... Wait, a what? Why am I in Odessa's body? I was dropping her off and then suddenly I became disoriented. Then I was dragged away. How did she... How was Odessa capable of doing this to me? She hugged me and then kissed me. I somehow have my Pokemon. Was that hug her trying to... I have to find a way out of here and find my body. Oh, I didn't actually know that was uh, what that was. Okay, how the hell did I get... I disobeyed father again. He was upset with me. I told him that I didn't want to do what he thought made a good princess. I said that I wanted to travel the world with my best friend. After words were thrown and emotions were let loose, he grabbed me and threw me into this dungeon to reflect. So now it's just been me and my friend, alone down here as usual. I tried to escape, but the dungeon is layered with surveillance statues. The moment I try to walk past them, an alarm sounds and I'm escorted back to my quarters. I suppose this is life now. My father is hellbent on trying to bring forth our former glory. Once our people used to live in the ocean with our prince, we were tasked with keeping him safe. But times have changed and we have long been exiled. The prince no longer needs our protection, though his power still runs through our veins. It is unknown why we were exiled, but I choose to believe that it's because he didn't want to confine us anymore. Imagine, how am I now locked away in this dungeon? That's how our people live, voluntarily. That's no way to live. It's not how I want to live. Three. Why did mother have to leave us? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. It's all her fault this family went to hell. Father was distraught by her leaving. He takes it out on us. I bet all this work to make us seem royal has nothing to do with actual royalty. He wants us to be like mother. Well, I guess it's no longer us anymore. When my sister ran away, it became even worse. I'm always being thrown down here. I'm put through rigorous et etiquette lessons. I have no human friends. I have no one to look up to. I have no freedom. I have no mother. I have no sister. I have no sister. It's only me. If I don't do something, I'll be here forever. I'll never see the outside world again. Father says a strange woman named Angie appeared. She's terrorizing the town with abnormal power. And so I've been thrown down here again, but this time it's with my father and his workers. Laying low in shelter is one thing, but why am I being blamed for this? What? Father said that if I had become a noteworthy princess, then I would have been able to award her what off the evil. What is that even supposed to mean? What am I even supposed to do? Show her how to fold napkins the proper way? May the wonderful prince of the sea forgive me, but fuck you. I'm going mad. I need to leave this island. I'll do anything. I'll do whatever I need to. Just leave me. Just let me leave, please. Yeah, she really needs to get out of here. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess I'm getting caught, like, instantly. You know what? Fuck him. How did you get back inside? Oh. Oh, that's how. 
Fuck! Okay. Now, yeah, fuck you. Alright. Did that turn the things off, or what? I turned this one off. Oh, fuck! Okay. F fucking shit! Okay. I have to go down this way. Oh, for... What do I do now? Maybe... Okay. Doesn't see me if I get too close. As long as I don't get too close, that is. Okay. Up here. I have to find out where Odessa went. Where could she have gone? Hell if I know, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I just have to find my own body. Where... The boat. Has to be the boat. Oh, Toby, they just sailed off towards the resort. Nothing out of the ordinary. What, you want me to take you to the resort? I can't do that, especially without your father's permission. It's my decree! Decree? I can't just refuse the decree of the monarchy. Okay, I'll get you there faster than a sharpedo on roller skates. Good! Alright, where the hell are you? Bring me back my body. I know you need out, but I want my body back. <laughs> At least. Like, let's, let's swap back wherever you are. Okay, where is she? Yo, what you want? Hey, slow down. I can't understand what you're trying to say. Listen, girl, you're not Toby. Stop impersonating my friend, or else you're gonna get burned. Got it? Look, not only do I know that you're not Toby by just looking at you, but also because Toby and I just had our mo own mosh pit session. Excuse me? <laughs> and it was fucking awesome. I want- I wanted to do- I want to do a mosh pit. Okay, I'm ready to go. Hey, bitch. Wanna, like, you know, swap back? Oh. Listen to this, Toby. This girl was impersonating you. Going on about stolen identity and all that. How fucking ironic. Yes, so very ironic indeed. Sorry, look, I know you need out, but let's swap, please. There must be some mistake here, but that's okay. We all, we all make mistakes. Give me back my bow body, damn it! You're being very weird, but if you leave now, I won't make a scene out of this. You're kinder than me, Toby. Well, you know me. Anyway, get lost. I don't think they're willing to leave us alone, Amber. It's not. Uh, I warned her. What the fuck? Yes, get her, Amber. What? What did you just call me? Get them, Amber. Toby would n know never to call me something as stupid as darling. What? I said Toby would never call me darling. Damn straight, I hate saying that. Well, you see, I was just trying to be... Well, looks like I'm no longer wanted here. So sorry, but I guess I'll just have to go now. Bye-bye. Bitch! Wait, damn it. God. Well, this is kind of awkward for me now. I just ousted that. I'm a bad friend. I knew you were being way more talkative than usual. I just ch chalk, I chalked that up to you being more comfortable with me. Should have been suspicious the moment you said you wanted to hang out. God, whatever. It's not about me right now. So you're the real Toby then. What the hell happened? Um, we swap bodies through a kiss. So you're just escorting a princess around crystalline, then at some point your body switch? Wait, does that mean I was about to hit royalty? Because that would have been bad. But if you're royalty right now, that means it's not safe for you. Come on, follow me. Oh, fuck. I want my body back, damn it. Okay, I arranged some snacks and drinks for you. This should hold you over a, for a little while. I bet people from Crystalline are looking for you now. So it's not safe outside, just leave this to me. You saved me from Team Zen, I'm gonna help repay that debt right now. I'm gonna go look for Toby, or, I mean, Odessa. I'll be back later with info. You know, she and I could have, you know, talked about this. And then, you know, set something up and then swap back. Wow, the amount of times I've been stopped on their way here. I knew Toby was the savior of Crystalline Town, but I never expected him to be this big of a big shot. Yeah, well, being badass does that, I guess. Toby managed to escape Father's Dungeon, too. Perhaps I've lit a flame too hot. No shit! But I can't give up now. I have to escape Terrajum and travel the world with my best friend. Looking like that? They're not even gonna know it's you. Ranger HQ. I heard Toby stormed Angie's church with the leader of the Pokemon Rangers. Perhaps I can get help here if I ask for it? May as well try. Oh, I'm just playing arcade games. All right, I got the scoop. Well, are you playing video game? What, what the fuck else do you expect me to do? I'm stuck here. Wait, did you beat my high score? You totally did, you beat my high score. What the fuck? It took me three weeks to get that score and I haven't even come close since. Uh, that's not important right now. Diamond place, Amber. That's the round and apparently you were last seen on Route 6. The only place that's still safe there is Valor Mountain, so I'm willing to bet that you're staying, that you're staying there for some reason. Isn't I... 
Odessa is waiting, I guess. God, this prissy princess has a lot of fucking nerve, doesn't she? She steals your body, then makes you jump through hoops to see her? Well, you know what I say? Let's go meet her if she's expecting us. And let's kick her ass. Or, damn, I guess it's your... It's fucking weird. It's like... <laughs> that ain't making it better! <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we're finally here. It's been a while since I've driven that thing. And yes, I know I could have just put in the autopilot, but where's the fun in that? Fair enough. You on ahead. I'll make sure no creeps try to sneak up on us. And if any creep does try it, I'll burn them to nothing but ash. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. Well, Luca decided to join us today! Oh, what no For fuck's sake! See, I told you, your majesty. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous for you out here on your own. You guys have it wrong. The only thing we have is a naive runaway girl who needs to be sent back home. Forgive me for saying this, but you're helpless on your own. I'm not naive. I was talking to Princess Odessa. We already know you're quite capable, Toby. So just give up, Princess Odessa. Just run on home. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Stop! Von Brandt, just what are you doing here? That person you're standing next to isn't Toby, that's Princess Odessa. But are you feeling okay, Amber? Enough of the games, Von Brandt. Keep this up and we'll have you arrested. But I'm telling the truth. Ugh, oh, this is so frustrating. We don't know how it happened, but at some point Toby and Odessa switched bodies. Toby's been trapped in her body ever since, and Odessa has been goofing around in Toby's body. If you're gonna arrest anyone, arrest this bitch for identity theft. Okay, I think someone needs a little see- Oh my god. The games you two are playing, it's really amusing, but you guys are just trying too hard. Really? Body switching? That's so dumb. I'm gonna hit this bitch, and I'm gonna put her back into her abusive house home. And just look at your faces, you can't take something like that seriously. Aw, oh, and Odessa looked like she's about to tear up. So let's wrap this up and get on with our lives, yes? Alright, let me put it this way then. Who here has ever heard Toby talk like this, talk this much? Eh? Exactly, I'm practically fucking mute. You know, she's got a point. There's no arguing against that. I just thought Toby was happy to hang out with us. <laughs> so the Toby before us is really... Yeah. Get back! Get back right now! You just had to ruin everything, Toby! Toby didn't ruin anything, you're just bad at that. Exactly! We could've talked this out and I could've helped you out. It brought you to the mainland and you could just run the hell off. But no, we gotta, you know, play identity theft and be a bitch. Just be quiet already, imbecile. If it weren't for you meddling, I would have gotten off this island. But the jig is up, as they say. I can't go any further with this. So I'll just take back what is rightfully mine. Finally! Well then, I guess the tables have turned. It really was Odessa playing as Toby. So that means Toby's back? Yep, I'm back. Good, it's how things should be. I'm afraid I've lost my patience with you all. Allow me to introduce you all to my best friend. Oh, it's just a man of he. The hell is that? This is my best friend, Manaphy, the Prince of the Sea. After my sister left me, I've been alone. Manaphy appeared one day and wanted to be my friend. All those days locked up in a dungeon, all those days kept away from the outside world, I would have gotten mad if it weren't for Manaphy. So that's why, that's why we're going to escape. Manaphy and I are going to see the world together, and no one can stop us. Take heart. What the fuck? Just happened? What's going on? You see, Manaphy has the ability to control hearts. With Heart Swap, it can switch the heart and soul of living things. But we've been practicing a new method recently. Using Manaphy's entire self, Manaphy can control hearts. It puts a strain on poor Manaphy, so we don't like using it unless we absolutely have to. But now your stupid little friends are my puppets to play with. And I'll have them rip you limb from limb. Get them! You focus on Ho Holly and Worm. I'll take care of the commander. <sighs> Good lord. Yes. Oh and, I, oh, and I'm not even healed. Fuck me. Swim. 
Oh my god. <sighs> Finally. You really are something, you know that, Toby? It's no wonder you were able to save Crystalline from Angie. You know what they say? If you want something done right, then you have to do it yourself. Right, Manaphy? Then let's fight for our freedom. Right here and now, Manaphy. Let's hope you're ready for us. <sighs> Please tell me I have my shit healed. Ah, fuck. Okay, maybe I... Okay, maybe I don't need to be fully healed. Maybe. Never mind. One more time. Okay. Yeah. That. Anything else? Sure. I should have gotten Crobat to haze it. Yeah, I can, I can, I can stat boost too. Oh, it's, what the fuck, it's paralysis is gone. Okay. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'm taking this thing out first. Just fuck that. Oh, are you serious? There, get off my fucking screen. You too. Man of feet. Uh, I wanted to sympathize with you, but now I just fucking hate you. Hey, we're free. Honey, I feel like myself again. It's good to be back. Your Majesty, you're in a lot of trouble. I suppose this has gone far enough anyways. Pushed Manaphy too far, all for my selfish wishes. I knew it was suffering and I still let it fight. Yeah, just because you're suffering doesn't give you the excuse to make everyone else suffer. Manaphy and I, we didn't mean to cause this much. Bullshit! Bullshit! We wanted to be free, that's all. Return, Manaphy. We'll be returning home now. And do you just expect us to believe that? All I have is my word, and I understand I tarnished my integrity already with all of this. If being free means that Manaphy will get hurt again like this, I don't think freedom is worth it for me. Let's hope and I take her home then. We'll make sure she's safe. Alright, I trust you guys. Please make sure the princess gets home safe. Leave it to us. Oh, now you're home, princess. You cost Toby a lot of trouble today. I know I'm in no position to ask for favors, but can we visit my favorite spot before I return home? Toby should know the one. That bridge at the Isle of Angels. <sighs> I guess we can make one quick stop. Fuck no! But no funny business. No funny bit. <sighs> She's definitely gonna do something. Oh. I think we'd actually unrespect respect her request. What we should have done is bop her head in with a wooden sp- I agree, Amber. Amber, I agree. It's said that the source of all life comes from the water, and that us crystallians return to the sea instead of the dirt. But that's a lie. We are no less human than everyone else. From dust we are born, and to dust we shall return. That's what my mother told me before she left us. I don't, I don't think that was meant to be a bad thing. To be human, that is. To be just like everyone else. 
Of course there's nothing wrong with being just like everyone else. That's the thing, my family isn't like everyone else. For generations, we were given the task of pre protecting the Prince of the Sea. My sister was next in line to become Queen of the Ocean, but she abandoned me with father all for some boy. I was never... <laughs> okay. I was never supposed to be a princess. This wasn't my life. When my mother left, life was hard. When my sister left, life was hell. And when I, took li and when I thought life couldn't get any worse, Angie took over. Everything was my fault. Somehow, Crystalline fell because of me. Somehow. All these expectations, all these people yelling at me, I couldn't take it anymore. So I said to myself, I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to escape this shithole. Whoa, calm down. I'm going to be really honest with you two. I don't want to go back. If I go back now, I'm going to be thrown back in that horrible dungeon once again. And because of what I did, I'm sure it'll be forever. I don't want to be a prisoner anymore. No, no one to talk to, no friends. Listen up, toots. <laughs> You're the princess of Crystalline, right? It's your right to live the way you do. You can't let your father control you anymore. You're your own person. It's not that simple. I don't have the power to stop him. <laughs> Are you kidding? What was all that ruckus then? You're way stronger than you think, Oda. Yeah, exactly. You've got this power, and you mean to tell me you couldn't si I understand some people are not strong. I don't have the backbone to do shit like this, but it still pisses me off! You had a shitty life situation, you made the move to get out of there. Not really the right move, but a move nevertheless. I can respect that. You had to stand up to your father and make him know that you're in charge of your own life. But I'm Amber, Toby, I'm afraid to do it alone. I'm too weak to do something like this alone. Then we'll be by your side. And you're not weak for needing help. It's the opposite, actually. You're strong because you can acknowledge that you can't do it alone. So let Toby and me help your dumb ass out, okay? Amber. Do not- Toby! I I'm so sorry for everything- You better be! When you accompanied me on that walk, I really did appreciate what you were doing for me. But when I realized how amazing and strong you were, the fact that you were independent enough to make your own choices, explore your own world, I wanted a taste of it, and I exploited you. I'm so sorry. I, I should say there's no excuses, but... <sighs> fuck you. I'm truly... I went far and beyond, and I'm sorry. One day I'll make it up to you, I promise. Okay, actually, you know what? No, I understand. You're right to be angry with me. Yeah, and I pretty much always will be. I don't make it up to you one day, I promise. <laughs> I don't think you will. Okay, I believe I'm ready to head back home now. And let's go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Are you sure we can't just leave her here? You and Toby have quite the nerve to show up here again. Princess Odessa, what do you have to say for yourself? I'd like to say, Father, that I've come back on my own accord. And thus I shall continue my stay here under new terms. New terms? Under whose rule? Surely not your own. I am not mother's replacement. I will not allow you to treat me as such any longer. Odessa, I won't hear another disobedient word from her. You will. I won't. You will because that is my decree! I am Princess Odessa of Crystalline Town, and soon to be Queen of the Ocean. I will no longer be treated as anything lower. And by my right to the throne, I will tell you to stand down, Father, lest I relieve you of your duties. Are we clear? I... <laughs> she said, are we clear? And who are you supposed to be? We're the soon-to-be Queen's Guard. Hope that... Guards, that hope that's all right with you, Aquis. I understand. Very good. I suppose this is it then. You didn't even need us after all. You handled that like a prime time bad. B don't, no, don't refer to her as that, Amber. She is nothing like that. Maybe I was meant to be princess after all. You were meant to be shit. Anyway, that I am finally in control of my own life, I think I'm going to finally put my power into good to use. Good. Do something that doesn't make me hate you. I mean, I feel bad and everything that you had, you know, a very abusive home life and everything, and, you know, heads up, your father is the reason why your mother and sister left. That's the real reason. But, you know, I'm still pissed. And you are just a video game character, so fuck you. <laughs> the people of Crystalline could actually use someone to guide them. I'm sure you'll be fine now that things are rolling your way now. I sure hope so now. No, I'm going to try my absolute hardest to be an asset, and when I take my town as Queen of the Ocean, I'll be ready to take any obstacle. No, you won't. Glad to hear it. We're going to be on our way now. Um, Amber, before you and Toby go, I wanted to ask if it would be cool if the three of us hung out sometime. No. Are you kidding me? Of course. No. That mosh pit we were in when I thought you were Toby was crazy. You're fun, so we're all friends. Got that? No. I'm friends with Amber. No, not you. Understood. Soon then, we'll hang out as real friends this time. Fuck you. Until then, farewell. Hope I never see you again. That girl. What a crazy bitch. Love her. I hate her. See ya, Toby. It's nice chilling out even though it was kind of hectic. I, uh, I'll tell mommy said hi. See, I enjoyed hanging out with you, Amber, not her. Ugh. I hate this quest. I said I was supposed to check this out at some... Oh, good lord. Who is he? Oh my god. I didn't expect to see you, Hira, of all people. Oh my god. 
This place used to be the Crystalline Help Center, but when the whole branch was moved, they threw it away. And the name of a more centralized location, my arse. <laughs> anyway, you have come at a most convenient time. I need a new assistant in something I'm researching. Did you know that team's in attack Terjuma? No idea, oh my god. Crazy, right? They attacked, but their plans were stopped by a girl named... Okay, it's true. Did you know that during that attack, a lot of people were wounded? But there were actually seven people that were killed. But I've looked over the post-war census, and their status were all marked down as missing. Isn't that strange? Well, I think I know what might have happened. Just before the attack, I saw a UFO... What? It crashed somewhere off the coast of Terradruma. You know what? It's Pokemon. Aliens exist. Look at the Oxus. I think an alien from that ship took the people and brought them to a warehouse nearby. But I need more time to work through things. Can you do me a favor and ask a lady about a thing? A lady named Holly? I emailed her, but I never got a response. She's usually inside the Kokori gym, but I'm too shy to go there. Tell her about what I said, okay? Please, Toby. Ugh, good lord. Yes, what else am I gonna get my dumbass into? Because I'm still super pissed about Odessa. 